You may remember these Chopper 9 pictures, the historic Stone Lick Hubbard Bridge in shambles after it collapsed during restoration work. Today, it's being rebuilt. Nine on your side, Scott Wegener shows us modern crews are rediscovering the genius of the craftsman who built the bridge. In the 21st century, why would anyone want to make a bridge out of wood. We wanted to keep part of our history going here. The Stone Lick Bridge in Claremont County was almost going to become history. We were actually looking at bypassing the structure. After public outcry over that fate, the county began rehabbing it. That's when it had a brush with oblivion. During rehab, it, it collapsed. Only Chopper 9 was able to show you the damage from the air. Still, the residents of Pleasant Valley were adamant. They wanted the bridge restored to its historic glory. A tall order for workers born a century or so after the fact. Original timbers, 1878. But for bridge inspector John Carpenter, the bridge didn't predate his woodworking bloodline. I come from a whole family of carpenters. I jumped all over it. The county brought in a crew that specialized in covered bridges. They're craftsmen, they're, that's for sure. You'd think it was an Amish crew when they're working out here. Many of the wooden beams recovered after the collapse are being put back into service, virtually indistinguishable from their modern counterparts. Here's a new one. Here's our old one. And for UC Engineering Co-op student Hunter Metters, 19th century bridge building technology is shockingly impressive. Genius is really the word for it. Genius he wants to be a part of. You going to carve your initials on the bridge? I might have already done it. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, Stone Lake Township. Can't wait to see. Tonight at 11, you'll hear from a man who was actually on the bridge when it Whoa. collapsed and hear how he scrambled to save his life. That'll be a story. Wow.